So you've got your Zion Weeble, you've rented it, but you've never set up a gimbal for it and you don't actually know how to balance it properly. Now, when it comes to balancing any gimbal, it's very, very important that you get it right. And the reason why this is, is because your actual, sh if you don't get it right, your actual shots will be jeopardized and compromised and you won't get the smooth, seamless shots that you're hoping for when using the gimbal system because the balance and because the device is actually struggling to keep the balance. It will also drain battery life quite considerably if you don't balance it correctly because the motors are having to fight more and use more power to keep the whole gimbal system stabilized. So this is how we balance any gimbal system with the roll, pan and tilt axis. So three axis, we start from the top and we do the back and forth, which is actually the, the tilt axis. So first of all, what we want to be looking out for is we want to balance the camera so it'll actually stay upright. We can't really go down right at the moment because obviously the lens is a bit, well, it's a bit long, so we won't be able to go down. But what we want to be doing is basically locking everything else off, locking all the other points off here so nothing else moves and just getting the balance left and right. So to me, the fact that that stays there, that's balanced. So now that we've balanced it this way, so obviously it sits facing upwards perfectly, what we wanna do is balancing it front and back now. So to me, it's a little bit front heavy. So all we can do is we're just gonna disconnect uh, the slide mechanism here, move it just a smidge back, if it'll go. A little bit back heavy. So now we've done the tilt axis, we've done front and back. Um, it sits nicely like this. It also sits nicely there. So now we know that the tilt axis is balanced almost perfectly. Next, we wanna be checking out the roll axis. So what you're gonna be doing back here is locking off the tilt axis, unlocking the roll axis, and checking if it's balanced. We should be able to move the camera to most positions and it should almost stay in that position. If it doesn't, you wanna be moving the camera left and right. So we wanna be disconnecting the mechanism back here and moving the camera on itself left and right. We don't need to right now as I've pretty much balanced it fine. Now we've done the roll axis, we wanna be doing the pan axis. <clears throat> so how we do this is we lock off the tilt and the roll axis and then we unlock the pan axis. We tilt the Zion, we tilt the Zion Weeble forward about, I wouldn't say quite 45 degrees, but we give it enough to see if it, it, if it moves around. Now what we wanna be looking out for here is wherever we position the camera, wherever we move it to, is that it virtually stays where it is. So it's not locked off, but wherever I'm moving it to, it's pretty much staying, as you can see, where it is. Now to me, that is perfectly balanced. So now that the device is perfectly balanced, we turn on the Zion and we run a calibration check. So it's called a balance check in the Zion menu function and it's in the first menu function with the little clock and then it's called balance check. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on balance check and we're gonna check it to make sure that it's all balanced. And as we move around, we should be able to see what parameters are struggling and what aren't. Now that's done, what we wanna be doing is making sure that we go to an auto calibration as well. Now what this does on an auto calibration is allow the device to understand that it's balanced correctly and it makes any fine tune adjustments to the roll, pan and tilt axis if we're slightly off. Now that's the Zion Weeble perfectly balanced. Now as you can see that it has no issue no issue struggling with the weight of the FX6, the counterweight, the monitor, and the 16 to 35 mil lens. There's no issue whatsoever, no struggling, perfectly balanced.